Uh, I would like to talk with you about the importance of a formal and informal discipleship. For you that have interest about discipleship, this is an important teaching for you. And, and I'm going to explain it. Be, be until, with me until the end, okay? Okay, let's learn it today the importance of a formal and the informal discipleship. Uh, but first, let me help you to understand better the definition of discipleship. Discipleship, the whole concept of discipleship is start 400 years before Jesus with Aristotle uh, 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 school. They call peripatetic school. What was the peri peripatetic school? Uh, uh, Aristotle understood that the best way for his disciples learn would be the disciples be with him, uh, walking with him where he was walking. And the peripatetic is about this, about walking. And where he was walking, his disciples that decide to learn with him would pay this price to leave everything, start to walk with him to his house, to, to, to the field, to, to the, the, the downtown, to the beaches, yes. And he was teaching and they were seeing his life. He's he seeing the currents between what he's teaching and he was doing. This is the concept of the peripatetic school. These guys, they were calling uh, the teachers that came after. They, they start to be calling the Daskalos. In Portuguese, in English, we, we, we normally we translate only as teachers or masters. But in English, didn't give exactly this concept of peripatetic, peripatetic way to teach. So when the Bible talk and Jesus talk making disciples of all nations in the Great Commission in Matthew 28, 18 to 20, and when Jesus is doing discipleship during three, his three years uh, uh, with uh, his disciples, Jesus is not in making up nothing. Jesus is doing exactly what Aristotle did. He's doing the formal discipleship and the informal discipleship. This is, was something that every great scholar, teacher, or master, that was the way for them to train and to teach and to raise disciples, was through this peripatetic way to teach. Did you get it? So when Hebrews chapter 5 to 12 says that the time that had passed, that you should be a teachers, there in Greek is didaskalos. They should be didaskalos. And the church did that, that, that leaders in several areas, Hebrews church, they didn't become these didaskalos. The Bible teaches clearly that spiritual growth is about you be like Jesus. You have to learn this peripatetical way to teach uh, uh, people that born again, people that you share Jesus, and now you're gonna walk with them. They, you're gonna share your life with them, walk with them, for you to develop this discipleship formal and informal. What would be this, this formal? Discipleship. This will be the point two in this ref reflection now. The formal, uh, when you go to look at chapter 8, chapter 8 and the, from the verse 4 until the end, Jesus is teaching formally. He teach, he sit, and he, he teach his disciple. And he teach about the, the sower uh, parable, and they did understand. They asked to Jesus what he was talking about. Jesus explained for his disciples what is about that. So when you get a moment specific to teach a specific subject from the Bible and, 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 and to pray with your, your disciple here in New Image in Jesus uh, in Tampa, Florida, we call, uh, we say that we have disciples. Jesus has disciples, we have disciples, and we are disciplers taking care 
of our disciples that is Jesus disciples yeah so when do we get time to 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 pray with our disciples and we study the Bible and be answering and counseling them in that formal moment we are doing a formal discipleship so uh, last week our life group our cell church we went to a strawberries festival uh, uh, in Planta City and we were some of the disciples who are with their disciples there having fun uh, uh, one of my leaders Normita she was saying with her disciples they share Jesus with the three person there but they were having fun this is this is uh, informal discipleship so this will be the point three how is this informal discipleship is as I said is when you go to a theater when you invite your disciple to a lunch a dinner get a coffee I love to go to Starbucks with my disciples and, and talk with them and have talk with them and sometimes do counseling there but more informal you understand my house is open for my disciples they come to my house you understand my my uh, 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 producer here, Caio. Yes, he, yeah, he loves me in my house. Just then, getting napping, talking, we do, do things together. Just then, this informal way, he sees my, my life. Just then, he sees what I, that I'm not perfect. I, may, I make mistakes, just then, but he sees how I love Jesus, how I wanna. Uh, be faithful to Jesus and what I teach to him, he sees in my life and, he, and, I, hel and I help him to develop uh, uh, what Jesus says, teach them to guard everything that I'm teaching to you. The, the teaching there in, in Greek is didasko, the verb, the roots where didaskalos come. This teacher, peripatetic teacher from the Aristotle school come. So Jesus was doing this formal and informal discipleship. I, I want to challenge you, my brother and my sister, to do this. Learn to be this peripatetical teacher. For you to have a time, moment, place to do formal discipleship with your disciple. Praying, counseling, worshiping together, studying the Bible together. And it is informal moments where they, you can be teaching or only develop a relationship with your disciple. That you're going to discover that informal discipleship several times work better than the formal discipleship because they see more you, the relationship grow. And before the relationship with your disciple go deeper as friends in Jesus, you'll be really difficult. He grows with you for you together he start to win people and open life's group and he, he produce disciples in jesus let me pray for you okay for you to become a powerful discipler and you become a powerful didascalos in this peripatetical or peripatetic uh, way to do discipleship okay god thank you god in jesus name for this, my brother and my sister, if he's with me until the end of this video, because she and he really want to, to learn how to become this powerful discipler, or the daskalos, for you, Jesus, for your disciples. So in Jesus' name, empower them, for them to learn, they improve, and they grow in it. In Jesus' name, Father, I pray, amen. This video help you about discipleship? Do you have more questions about the peripatetic school of Aristotle? Uh, leave your comments here. What is your struggle about discipleship? Do you have any struggles, any questions that you do like I answer to you? Write in your comments. Like this video, share with someone now. Your pastor or someone that you are helping to grow in discipleship. Share, because if you share, you want to help us to grow in our videos as well. Okay, and it produce more videos for you. Like, share, uh, uh, um, activate the bells, okay, and follow us. God bless you in Jesus' name.